Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll talk about conditional probability. To motivate the concept, we'll consider the following example. Suppose the experiment consists of randomly picking one of the boxes from the 16 boxes you see on your right. So in this grid, there are 16 boxes and each of the box is equally likely to be picked in this experiment. Suppose the event of interest is event A and the description of that event is that the box is gray. What is the probability of this event? Probability of event A can be easily computed by counting the total number of gray boxes in the grid and dividing it by the total number of boxes in the grid. So there is one gray box in row 1, two gray boxes in row 2, two gray boxes in row 3 and one gray box in row 4. So in total we have six gray boxes. So the probability of event A is 6 by 16. Now suppose we receive an additional piece of information that the randomly selected box is in row 1. How do we update our probability of event A given this new piece of information? For this, we need conditional probability. So let us now define conditional probability and let us try and understand this definition using some examples. Suppose we are interested in the probability of event A and the new piece of information or the evidence that we have is that event B has occurred. And suppose the probability of B is strictly positive. Now we want to find the updated probability of event A of after observing event B. So this is the notation probability of event A given B is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. So we update our probability of A after knowing that event B has occurred in this way. And let us see by using some examples. Suppose this green colored set is the sample space and this is event B. So this is basically the evidence. So we know that event B has occurred. So if, if event B has occurred, then everything outside B is now irrelevant. Suppose this is event A. Now the part of A that lies outside B is also irrelevant. The reason is because we know that event B has occurred. So probability of A given B is defined as probability of part of A that lies in B divided by the probability of B, which is precisely probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Consider another example. Suppose this is our sample space. This is the event B. So this is the evidence. So we know that event B has occurred. This is our event A. And you can see that event A and event B are disjoint. So if event B has occurred, then we know for sure that event A has not occurred. So ideally, we would want our formula to update the probability of A to zero after observing event B. And that is precisely what's happening because probability of A intersection B is zero. Consider another example. Suppose this is uh, the evidence. We know that event B has occurred. Event A suppose lies entirely inside event B. So now the updated probability of A given B will be precisely the ratio of probability of A and probability of B because probability of A intersection B is exactly probability of A. Suppose now that event B lies entirely inside event A. So knowing that event B has occurred tells us that event A has definitely occurred. So probability of A given B will now be 1. So now let us revisit the problem that we discussed earlier and let us figure out the probability that a randomly selected box in the grid is gray given that it is in row 1. Event A is 
that the box is gray and we have already found that the probability of event A is 6 by 16 and that event B is that the box is in row 1. So what is the probability of event B? Well, that's going to be 4 by 16 because there are 4 boxes in row 1 and in total there are 16 boxes. So the probability of event B is 4 by 16 and that is exactly equal to 1 by 4. So what we want to do is we want to update the probability of event A given this new piece of information that we have that event B is up to. So how do we do this? Well, probability of A given B is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Now what is probability of A intersection B? Now event A is that the box is gray and event B is that the box is in row 1. So box is gray and box is in row 1. Is this just one single box? So probability that the box is gray and it is in row 1 is probability of selecting this particular box which is 1 by 16. So the numerator is going to be 1 by 16 and probability of event B is 1 by 4. So probability of A given B is 1 by 4 which is something that we could have expected because now this is the event that has occurred and we are interested in the gray box so we can see here that there is one gray box out of the four so the updated probability must be 1 by 4. So let us consider another example. Suppose a family has two children and we want to find the probability that both are girls given that at least one is a girl. So first of all we are going to figure out what is the sample space. So if the family has two children one possibility is both are boys. Other possibility is that the elder one is a girl, younger one is a boy. The next possibility is that the elder one is a boy, younger one is a girl. And the last possibility is that both are girls. Each of these outcomes are equally likely. Now we want to find the probability that both are girls given that at least one is a girl. So we have the evidence that at least one is a girl. And we want to update the probability that both are girls given this new piece of evidence. So let us define these events and then find this conditional probability. So, so event B which is our evidence is that at least one of them is a girl. Which you can easily see is the event that consists of these three outcomes. So the probability of event B is 3 by 4 because each outcome is equally likely. Event A is both are girls, which is this last outcome. So we want to find the probability of A given B. Probability of A given B is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. Since A is a subset of B, so probability of A intersection B is same as probability of A, which is 1 by 4. Therefore, probability of A given B is 1 by 4 divided by 3 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 3 and you can easily see that from here as well. It is 1 out of 3 cases in which both are girls given that at least one of them is a girl. And we end this video with couple of exercises on conditional probability. Thank you.